Hi, welcome to 2020 Tasty Treats with Gourmet Quilter. I'm Susan Clare, Gourmet Quilter, and we're doing a series of applique houses at the moment. So this village that we're building is up here behind me, and we're having a wonderful time. We've already done 12 of the houses. There's 20 in the series, and so we're just doing it. There's a big house going here, and we're about to do that one. So it's been a lot of fun so far. There's a pattern in case you're interested on gourmetquarter.com that has all the shapes ready for tracing for each house. So each day we're doing a new pattern for a house and a video uh, for 20 days. And we are up to day 13. So we're having uh, um, this large house here. So I've already positioned the walls. I've positioned one of the windows, the downstairs window and a door. We've got some windows upstairs to position. And we've also got a door handle this time as well. So we're having so much fun with all their different uh, houses and different shapes, different styles, different colours. I think these ones can sit. It's a kind of long windows. Don't often see houses with windows like this. But we've got one here. We've got a nice big doorknob so that we can find our way into that house. And then we've got a large roof here, which I think we're probably going to need to do some stitching on to make it a little bit interesting when we get there. So I think that's all looking pretty good. I can iron all of that in place now. And I'm going to be free motion stitching, so I'm just going to pop some stabiliser behind so it doesn't get all scrunched up when I'm free motioning. And so I'll go to the sewing machine and we'll just get started on some of this stitching here. So I think what we'll do is, let me have a little look here. We might get the roof and and the windows and things done first and then we'll come back and we'll do some decorative work on the roof so in the meantime we might just start stitching around some of these windows so we'll just get started so I'm just stitching on the applique just close to the edge but I'm free motion stitching so I'm moving the fabric to create the stitch length and direction A lot of fun doing this sort of stitching. I really enjoy it. For me, this is kind of a little bit relaxing. And so there's one window done already. If only houses were that quick to build, hey. So we can do another one. So really, this is all much the same. And going around the outside of a house, and the roof will be the same as well. So I might just keep going and then show you when there's something a little bit more interesting to see, like roof decoration or something like that. So I'm just having a little play on this roof. I'm basically doing some horizontal lines, but every so often I do a little urge to do a little circle in there, and then I go through that and keep going. And really they're randomly positioned, these little circles. They're not necessarily even round or the same size. They could just be little ones. And then coming back along the other way again, we can have one fairly close up here, I feel. It's kind of fun to just have a little play and this is a perfect opportunity to do this sort of thing where it's just a little area to make something interesting that we're already doing. And if you, if you make it random, it doesn't um, need to all be exact or anything like that and therefore very creative and so much fun. What a 
about a little circle inside a circle. So I think that it's, it's a great place to have a little play with things. It makes our little houses just a little more interesting. It gives us a little surface and permission to play because houses have different roofs. If you go around a town and you look at all the different house tilings and tin roofs and all sorts of things, I see absolutely no reason why we can't have circles on our roof. And so that was, um, that's that house finished this time. That was house applique number 13. So we've got one more row to go. This is the second row, the middle row of the picture that's up on the left up there. And then we've, so we've got another row to go here and that will be it. So that was house, as I said, 13. I will be back with house applique number 14.